in Zaralak Cavern, there's actually a very cool little snail area down by Glimmerog at the south side of the zone. There are actually a few entrances into Zaralak Cavern. I think the closest one would be Three Falls Lookout, which is right here on the map in the Azure Span. But if you want to collect the snails from this new zone, you're going to want to enter through this entry. And then head around to the snail track can be found over here. And head to this NPC right here. When you get here there's actually an achievement you can do which rewards one snail called Roggy. The achievement is called Slow and Steady Wins the Race as you can see from the text. You basically have to help each snail win. To do that, you pick up a specific snack from this NPC. Choose which one you want to help that day. And then pick the corresponding snack. But no doubt all the collectors out there will want to collect five snails and not just the one that comes from the achievement. So to do that, you'll want to come to this NPC who is actually overlooking the racing track which is right down there. You want to pick up his two quests, pay to play, and favor on the side. Welcome here. They don't actually take too long to do. If you want to kill the mobs around the snail track, then feel free to do so. Although that can give you a little bit of an advantage if it starts attacking the snails that you're not trying to help that day. Once you finish those two quests, you can come down here and pick up the first quest in the series. Hmm. Race to the finish. So, for this one we have to help Bashful win the race. Stay Do that, you talk to the guy next to him, Corey. You have to wait until the snails reset before picking the treat. So, since I need to help Bashful win, Be smelling ya. that's the treat I'm going to pick. Then you're going to wait for the snails to reset. Doesn't take too long once one of the snails wins the race though. Here we go. Nice little bonus, they highlight the snail that you're trying to help. So all you have to do is feed it this little speed boost. Now and then some of the other spectators will feed the other snails treats as well. And on occasion, they may get attacked by other NPCs. From time to time, you'll see little dragons appear on the other side of the track. So if you want to stop those, just run up to them and click them, and that will actually turn them friendly for a short time. So as you can see, this one is actually a lot easier than the snail 
race in High Mountain, if you remember that one. Oh, here we go. So if you do find that your snail is getting attacked by somebody, then feel free to DPS them. But if they're attacking any of the other snails, then I would just leave those ones alone. My guy is still doing pretty well though. He's still a little bit ahead. I'm going to give him a few more boosts though to help him out. Really is lagging behind today. So as you can see, the little treats are different colors. They correspond to each snail. So the blue one has the blue puddle. The orange one has the yellow puddle. I believe the other two are green puddle and a whitish puddle. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one alone because my guy is still unhindered, at least for the time being. Don't like how close he's getting to the sided fan though. Okay. So a few more treats should do it. You don't really need to do it past this point since he's so far ahead now, but I just want to make it a little bit quicker. I do like the animation though when they win. Be able to see it in a sec. There we go. And then wherever the other three snails are, they kind of run off and hide in the bushes. Okay, so now you can hand in the first quest. We have a good batch of snails racing today besides Roggy. So next week you should get a new quest to help one of the other snails win a race. You'll have to do that two more times and then for the achievement you'll have to help Roggy. which is the slowest out of the four. Unfortunately, this guy kind of zigzags his way along, which is pretty much explains why it's the slowest out of the four. So I would just keep using it as soon as it comes up. Hopefully either you or your snail doesn't get attacked because you'll notice that you won't be able to use your treat while you're in combat. Okay, well, I'm not sure if that's a bug, but I seem to have lost my treat, and I tried talking to the NPC. He's not giving me another one. Thankfully, Roggy is actually doing really well, because the other ones have been held up by mobs. And there we go. Nice! Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's wearing a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> 